Caitlyn Jenner. Looks fantastic. And for all the conversation and encouragement, all well-deserved, all the positive tweets and joking ones like, here's 78% of what we pay guys. The 1.46 million and counting following her on Twitter. The Vanity Fair cover, which is incredible. The comparisons to Jessica Lange and Lana Del Rey. One thing remains. This choice is controversial. And so, yeah, maybe someone doesn't like what Drake Bell said. So it winds up on New York Post, page six. And the fact remains that Kylie Jenner, Bruce Jenner's daughter, excuse me, Caitlyn Jenner's daughter, see, hasn't issued a tweet of support. This is an adjustment for many because it's not so much that we're in a society where this is still not normal. No, we're always going to have a problem with it because it, it's a signal of instability. And no, I don't mean psychological, emotional instability. The simple instability of one day you're a man and you have you were married three times. Bruce Jenner's first wife was United Airlines flight attendant. I remember Bruce when he was the winner of the decathlon in 1976. You can't wait for us to die off because, hey, Bruce himself is 65 years old. All right. The bottom line is this. We have a right to talk about this. Some people have a right to disagree with a choice, and it is a choice. Prior to the ability to change your cosmetic look so easily, there was a time when men who were thought of as effeminate and were derogatorily called sissies had their fans and others who told the world to get over it, and many of those persons became captains of industry and successful in many different walks of life. The bottom line, so freaking what, okay? This is entirely, but they were still men, all right? This is entirely different. Because if, if I were a woman, I would say, hey, wait a minute, there's more to a woman than just how you look or how beautiful you are. It's your ability to sire a child, how you smell. Someone said, well, estrogen. Because they take estrogen, they can smell just like a woman. That hasn't been my experience, okay? Be, as a fan of women bodybuilding, I've had a number of guys say, well, that woman looks like a man. No, and I would say they don't because... That woman can increase her strength 44% without any visible increase in muscle size. You can tell the difference if you're attuned to who a woman is. Again, that has nothing to do with the choice made that created Caitlyn Jenner. That is not what I'm arguing. Caitlyn looks beautiful, great. If Caitlyn is happy, fantastic. But we have a right to talk about it. And don't forget about how it the kids react to this sort of thing at all don't forget that it, this has a dramatic impact on everybody look at the reaction on twitter but don't shame people for for asking a question that is equally horrible and very immature i might add it's emotionally immature to do so all of these events need to be talked about you got to talk about them with your kids, too, because they're going to ask questions. So that's it. You know, it's OK to talk about these things. Yes, we praise the decision. Yes, happy. But we can also talk about it. Hey, you know what? Some of us can disagree with it, too. That's OK, too. Doesn't mean any hate on that person at all, particularly not Caitlyn Jenner. Not at all. That's it.